All right, this is part two of the answers for the add and subtract fractions Google form that we did on December 4th. So the next problem we have is five ninths subtract two fifths. We cannot subtract them the way they're written. We have to have a common denominator. So we'll take our two denominators, which are nine and five, and we'll list the multiples. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. I'm stopping there because I already know that's what it's going to be. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. Since my common denominator is 45, I need to change both of these fractions so that they have a denominator of 45, but I can't change the value. So I need to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same thing, because that will make sure I don't change the value. Nine times what is 45? Nine times one, two, three, four, five is 45. So if I multiply the denominator by five, I also have to multiply the numerator by five. And five times five is 25. Five times what gives me 45? Five times nine gives me 45. So if I multiply my denominator by nine, I must also multiply my numerator by nine. And two times nine is 18. It's a subtraction problem. Make sure we pay attention to the sign. And 25 over 45, subtract 18 over 45, is going to give me 7 over 45. And that cannot be simplified. How do I know? If I take my factors of 7, it's just 1 times 7. For 45, it's 1 times 45 and 5 times 9. The only thing they have in common is one. If that's all they have in common, then you can't simplify it. If that's all they have in common, I can't simplify it. Uh, one fourth plus seven tenths. The more you do this, the quicker you're going to figure out the common denominators. But I need a common denominator for 4 and 10. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 10, 20. 20 is my common denominator. I want to change these so they're both over 20. I can't change the value, so I have to multiply my numerator and denominator by the same thing. Each fraction is going to have a different thing you're multiplying by. But 10 times 2 gives me 20, so I multiply them both by 2. And 7 times 2 is 14. 4 times 5 gave me 20, so I multiply both my numerator and denominator by 5. And 1 times 5 is 5. 5 twentieths plus 14 twentieths is 19 twentieths. And that cannot be simplified. If the numerator and denominator, if the numerator is one less than the denominator, you're not ever going to be able to simplify it any further. It's already in lowest terms. Already in lowest terms. <clears throat> All right, two thirds minus two fourths. Common denominator for three and four. Common denominator for 3 and 4 is 12. I change these so they're both over 12. 3 times what gave me 12? Well, 3 times 4 gave me 12. If I multiply my denominator, I must also multiply my numerator by the same thing. Because the fraction 4 over 4 equals 1. So 2 times 4 is 8. And what did I multiply by 4 to get 12? 4 times 3 is 12, and 2 times 3 is 6. It's a subtraction problem. 8 twelfths minus 6 twelfths gives me 2 twelfths. Now, I know I can reduce this one. I can simplify it. I'm going to find my factors for 2, which are 1 and 2. 
I'm going to find my factors for 12, which are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Now what they have in common, they have a 1 in common, they have a 2 in common. The biggest thing they have in common is 2. So if I divide both of these by 2, because 2 over 2 is the same as 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so that would be my final answer. Last one for this assignment. Last one for this assignment is five, six plus six twelfths. Five, six plus six twelfths. I can't add those the way they are. I need to find a common denominator. My denominators are six and 12. Uh, C and 12 is my common denominator. So I need to change both of these fractions so that they have a denominator of 12 without changing their value. So what did I multiply by 6 to get 12? Well, 6 times 2 is 12. If I multiply my denominator by 2, I must also multiply my numerator by 2. 5 times 2 is 10. What did I multiply by 12 to get 12? Well, that is 1. If I multiply my numerator by 1, I also have to multiply my denominator by 1. And 6 times 1 is 6. This is an addition problem. I'm going to get 16 twelfths, which is the same as 12 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. Or since 12 twelfths equals 1, I have 1 and 4 twelfths. Now this can be simplified. This can be simplified. I will look at the factors of 4 and the factors of 12. Well, 4, I just have 1 and 4, and 2 and 2. 12, I have 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So what do they have in common? They have a 1 in common. They have a 2 in common. They have a 4 in common. Since 4 is the biggest number they have in common, I divide both my numerator and denominator by that. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So my final answer would be 1 and 1 third. Thank you.